Hello lovely Leos and welcome to your weekly reading. So this reading is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. My goodness, so much has come out there, Leo. And it does feel like, you know, we are looking at the energies, processing a lot of really intense emotional energies and big shifts from that Scorpio full moon. And we've got the lover's card, we've got the hanged man, and we've got the five of pentacles coming through. So, yeah, this is your weekly reading. It's Thursday to Thursday. I'm just changing the format slightly um, so that it's something that's more manageable for my time and I can do it more regularly now. We've got the Magician coming through and we'll get one last card for you, Leo. So I feel like there is actually a big choice here. You've Potentially there's been some kind of reality check that's come through. You've seen something really clearly and gone, you know what, do I want that in my life? I like you've come out as the King of Wands and the six of cups or maybe yeah there there is a sense that you've waited too long with something or someone you've been waiting and it's like you're getting messages now that now's the time to take action uh, because there's a big choice here are you going to choose something that you love or choose love what are you going to choose because it feels like there's some energy that's been stagnating for way too long here, Leo. And it's I think you've been shown that really clearly in the, the full moon eclipse in Scorpio. And it's potentially like you've um, kept yourself waiting or someone's kept you waiting or you've kept somebody else waiting, but it's a sense of waiting no more action decision time because we've got the magician card and the king of wands. You know, a decision needs to be made, a choice needs to be made here. And then it's a matter of how, how are you going to do this? And then here you are as the king of wands. I feel like, really feel like this is you because it is, you know, the king of fire, even though it's you're sitting on an Aries throne. It is very much a, a sense that, um, and it could be someone else around you. This is, uh, but it's like, I'm willing to take action now. I'm willing to have the courage of my conviction. So it's something that's been there inside your heart that you've kind of put off or haven't addressed or you've just let it kind of go for way too long. And yeah, now it's like, it's go for it time here. The passion is coming back. The how is coming back. The being able to manifest and consciously make something happen is really, really positive. Now, if this is not you, there's someone around you that's just really passionate, somebody that's really driven, somebody potentially very charismatic and warm, but somebody that doesn't hesitate. You know, there's somebody that if there's something they want, they know to go for it. And this person is here to kind of um, either they're going for you <laughs> or they're here to inspire you to go for what it is that you need to go for. But you just keep getting, uh, yeah, you've been waiting and even perhaps punishing yourself for too long. Uh, it may be for some of you, it's a case of you've just, uh, it's been like you've been on the the hamster wheel. It's the, the same old thing over and over again, over and over and over and over and over again, and I'm over it kind of energy and I need to move on. So this doesn't have to be a person as well. Like the five of pentacles can be walking away from old forms of incomes. It can be thinking of shifting and changing careers and jobs as well. And it's like I've stayed in um, this career or this job for way too long and I need to be thinking of a change. So there's a big change that you're thinking of here at this moment in time tiger energy, the fire, the courage to make this big shift and change and to um, step into it, which I love. You've got quite a few animal spirit energies here. It's saying this is kind of like feel the fear and do it anyway. Uh, there, There is a sense of there is, um, there's a lovely sweet energy with this. There's perhaps a naivety. Maybe this is something very new or maybe you don't feel very experienced for whatever reason. Sorry, Le sorry, Leo, I, I had to stop for a second. The dogs were just going crazy and I think they're barking at the dogs next door. But anyway, I was getting with these, I kept getting lamb to the slaughter kind of energy that it's a sense of there's fear of being either rejected or put down or not being um, whatever it is that you want to do won't necessarily go down so well. It's a sense of all received well. So there's all these kind of fears around it. Absolutely. These are kind of the fears raising their head and going, well, what if I can't rise up above? What if, uh, you know, all these sort of things like, can I do it? What if they don't like me? Uh, what if it doesn't work? 
but the tiger's coming in and it's like this fierce night hunter and just going, you know what, like I said, have the courage, feel the fear, do it anyway. And so I'm actually just going to pull a card and see what message you need to hear about this as your take-home message. So, yeah, it's time. You're very much getting the message, it's time, and to stop putting something off and to go for it. We've got the Queen of Shells, peace and compassion. Okay. So, yeah, this is a beautiful energy to come in because this could potentially be someone, the person that you're dealing with here, somebody that's actually really lovely, very lovely person, actually. And this could, this person could kind of be the apple of your eye that um, maybe you wanted to approach them about something or somebody that you really admire, somebody that you really like here. And I feel like um, it's a sense of if this is another person that it's now's the time to approach them. I want to just pull a card around this. The star, peace, healing, beautiful. The star is coming in and it's kind of just saying, yeah, um, with the peace and compassion coming in twice, those those energies, it's uh, being at peace with something that um, you might have been even beating yourself up about, like, why didn't I do that? Or why did I do it that way? Uh, why did I let that one go? Or why haven't I, you know, all the like things that we do that we kind of like, yeah, beat ourselves up a little bit about the why didn't this happen? Or why did I, you know, why did I hurt somebody even? But it's kind of saying, treat yourself with this peace and compassion, find the peace within the situation here, because the universe is saying that um, not to let this kind of hold you back, these feelings of guilt or, um, you know, however, whatever this energy is around it, but to be able to move forward into something that you, that is calling you that you truly want to be doing here. So let me just pull one card uh, that's coming in after this. We've got page of acorns, discovery and enthusiasm. Okay. So, yeah, it's kind of like it's time to go exploring again. It's time to go exploring. It's time to not be scared of what's out there and who might be out there or what might be out there even though it's a sense of just putting on your little open curious hat in your mind and yeah going out there and and seeing what they what the landscape I feel like things have shifted and changed since this stagnant energy came in and it's very much saying you might need to talk to someone and that that kind of knows that can give you some really great advice as well but it's just saying have an open and curious mind. There's things that can be developed and worked on. It can it feels like a vulnerable stage, but at the same time, it's something that could be quite exciting that you you're working on here and and moving forward into. And so the universe is kind of with the star card is also the card of the future guiding you here here and feeling more hopeful for the future. So to tap into those lighter energies and some of the darker energies, and also saying you know you're going through this passage of. Um, through the darkness where you're letting go of these emotional stagnations that are here and connecting up to a higher vibration and a higher perspective where you can actually see that there are new possibilities and so you can step into something, um, find the peace and compassion within the situation that's needed uh, and to be able to kind of start getting excited again about something, about what it is that you're wanting to do here, being the king of wands. So that's it, Leo. Uh, I do feel like there's this little spark that's just igniting within you and just to um, a sense of blowing on it, letting it grow, <laughs> protecting it, but uh, just seeing where it goes. You know, it feels like it's all, you know, starting small, but it's going to grow into something. So that's it. <laughs> that's the weekly message. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.